Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Right, Peter one to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers the flood layers to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology, from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention especially in Clause 21. We've got full support from the U.S. military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan, because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amida, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrappings that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. At least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Might I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, pretty offensive for your team, Sergeant.
All right, let's go. Our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? He's not so bad. Say, Sergeant, this may prove a touch-off topic, but... Are you partial to a tipple? Oh, not this again. Well, Sergeant, I'd wager you could hold your liquor. Yeah, I figured. When the mission's done, there's a stiff drink waiting for me. I couldn't keep this business up without knowing that. Charlie, focus on the mission. Team building is an essential element of mission cohesion, young lady. Surveillance bots. The pairs, they're searching for us. Our route takes us through there. Stay sharp, people. Assault mechs at 12 o'clock. They don't appear to have noticed us yet. Let them close in, then take the initiative. Hold your fire until I give the cue. Understood? Good. Take cover. Nasty customers.
Well done. Rendezvous point with our contact should be around here. Let's tidy up first! something. The sound. Could it be? Yes, yes, it could. Grand Lancer! Everyone, take cover! But our guns won't penetrate his armor. We need to think of something. Quickly! Just as I thought. No effect. We'll have to do something about that armor. Explosion might be able to There it goes! The armor's peeled back! Sergeant, are you alright? Do you need assistance? Just don't be reckless, Sergeant. I am not losing a man out here. Good! The armor's come off! Aim where it's gone! Concentrate your fire! Look up there! Let's put that electrical cable to good use. Right! Let's use it to electrocute the bugger! Shoot the cable down on my signal! Now, Sergeant! Shoot it down! What are you doing? Shoot that cable down! What are you doing? Shoot that cable down! 
cable down! What are you doing? Shoot that cable down! Yes! Not half bad, Sergeant. Now we can do some damage. Aim for that section where his armor was stripped off. That's it, it's working! Keep it up! Steady, Blighter! Holding up, Charlie? It takes more than this to keep me down. Is there no end to these bastards? Steady, Blighter! Impressive! HQ, can you hear me? You holding up, Charlie? It takes more than this to keep me down. Oi, Rachel! Are you alright? I'm fine. It'll take more than this to kill me. Never surrender! Dan, are you alright? Do you need my help? Please, try to be careful. If you die, then we're all in a pickle. No need to shout. I read you loud and clear. We have a stubborn Grand Lancer on our hands. How can we stop it? I think I can help. Our intelligence office just sent some data on that model. Nice work, HQ. What did you learn? It seems its drive system is in its head. Destroy that. Stop it dead in its tracks. The head, and How would you suggest we strike it there? I'll leave the details up to you. Good luck. HQ makes it sound easy. Everyone hear that? We aim for the head! Take out its drive system. Hey, Dan, think you can manage a leap from the roof onto its head? We'll make sure it comes right up to the building. You wait for the right time to jump on. Now then, you go up to the roof and wait. Sergeant, get back on that roof! Almost done! certainly tougher than expected. Of course, if we can't handle the enemy down here in the slums, we may as well pack it in. I'm sure this is nothing compared to what we'll face in the upper city. Still, if this was an easy job, they wouldn't have called us in. So on we go, all right? Good. This crew was selected because we all have distinct skill sets. You do have a skill set, right, Sergeant? Then we'll be counting on you. Believe it or not, I do have some faith in you. Praise from the Commander. That's a rare thing. Try smiling once in a while. That's enough! We don't want to keep our contact waiting. The rendezvous point with our contact is beyond this shutter. Let's move. The things you say are so glib, there's not a hint of sincerity.
Forget it, Sergeant. I've no idea what you're talking about. Kill me! Gregory, we've reached the objective. Rendezvous here. Understood. Approaching now. Why do people like you always make so much noise? Bit of an occupational hazard, that is. Here to see Mathune. Tell him Charlie's here. Never heard of you? Never heard of him? Can't help you! Your, your, your order, please. One of my regulars did a number on him. Huh. You gonna fix him? What's the point? He'll get bashed in again. Nice to know you're appreciated, huh? Look, I don't want any trouble. Just trying to make a living here. I'll take a beer. Well, shit, pretty lady. All you had to do was ask. Uh, sushi's on the house. Thank you. So, now maybe you can tell us, where's Mifune san? I told you. I never heard of him. Die! Look, mate, we don't have time to piss about. Where is Mifune? He's here. What? He's watching us through this scrap head. Not bad, Yankee man. Don't blame the barkeep. He didn't know. Mifune? What the bloody hell is this? Change of plans. Head for the underground mall. I'll have someone meet you there. Unbelievable. What's your name, Yankee Man? Dan. Why? I've got my eye on you, Dan. <laughs> See? Waste the money! Right, I've set coordinates to the objective. 
Let's go. Oh, do me a favor and use the back door. You people don't exactly blend in around here. Thanks, brother. Beast Beetle 2. Our intel says Mifune is a smuggler, specializes in weapons and technology banned in Japan. That sounds typical. That all you got? Afraid so. Mifune isn't even his real name. All we've got to go on is his rep. Yeah, don't sweat the details, Base. Just leave it to me. You know something I don't, Gregory? Well, I don't know, Major. Do you have extensive operational experience dealing with underworld crooks? Just be careful. All of you. Base out. You're right. I'm liking this guy more and more. All right, let's go. Mifune is waiting. Right.